Brock I'm, Purdy, Brock Purdy's fifty yards rushing against the Lions in the NFC title game was a big deal. Like that's that's something that now as we're moving forward and looking for vulnerabilities, is okay. This is this is the first stretch of uh, this game this Sunday is the first of a stretch of games and where. I'm, I worry a little bit about the lack of depth now at linebacker being a part of it. Are they going to be able to slow down a, mo- a mobile quarterback? They're going to see a lot of that the rest of the way. You know, that's, you know, I, I'm disgusted how the regular season becomes this exercise in trying to check every box and answer every bell. Can they win on the road? Yes. Can they beat good teams? Yes. Can they win in bad weather games? Yes. Can they overcome injuries? Yes. Can they have a stinker of a half and still win a game? Yes. yes. Can they? Can they beat a mobile quarterback? Now it's can. I mean, they have beat some guys that are more mobile, but this this stretch of games are really going to get tested in that regard. Yeah, because they they have. I mean, look, Baker Mayfield is mobile. Geno Smith is mobile, but Anthony Richardson is a running quarterback. Caleb Williams is a running quarterback, and these are guys they're facing. Josh Allen is a running quarterback mm-hmm. uh, when he wants to be. Obviously, if you watch the game against the Chiefs, you saw how things finished up there and. That's just who he is. They've got real uh, tests from that standpoint. However, the Colts overall aren't very good. The Bears overall aren't very good. The Bills overall are really good. Yep. Um, but the, the the next games against Caleb Williams and Anthony Richardson, I think it helps the Lions in preparation for the Bears that are taking on Anthony Richardson and the Colts on Sunday because I think they're they're similar with the, similar types of quarterbacks. Both have immense talent. Both can absolutely run, and I'm not sure who's ahead of who right now in terms of their their progression as a as a player. The difference between like a, a plan of Richardson and playing of Brock Purdy or Sam Darnold is they call plays for Richardson to run the ball. Josh Allen gets plays called for him to run the ball. Jalen Hurts gets plays for him to run the ball. So that it's not improv. Yeah, that's part of the offense, and so I think it is a good dry run, Doug, as far as. If you see Jalen Hurts in the playoffs, you know, if you see Lamar Jackson in the Super Bowl or Josh Allen again in the Super Bowl, like those are guys that have to be accounted for on every offensive play. Like the Darnold, the Purdy's, those are annoying because those aren't called. Like they just find a way to get out of a, you know, a sack or whatever, gain yards with their legs or just find an open receiver. Well, and if you look at the quarterbacks the Lions have defeated this year, okay, they've defeated only one quarterback who's in the top 10 in the NFL and quarterback rating. And actually, that's not true. They've defeated two. They've defeated nine and 10. They defeated Kyler Murray and Sam Darnold are nine and 10. The best quarterback they played this year beat Detroit, Baker Mayfield. Uh, outside of that, you start moving down the list. You get to 16 for Stafford. Jordan Love is ranked 19th in quarterback rating. Geno Smith, 23. C.J. Stroud, 24. Trevor Lawrence, they didn't play him. My bad. Dak Prescott, 27. So the quarterbacks are sort of assembled in the middle to the bottom of the pack. Now, to be fair, if you look at the best quarterbacks in the league right now in terms of quarterback rating, I I relish the opportunity to face the top quarterback in quarterback rating, Lamar Jackson, because we know that's where we know where they'd be playing him. Or Joe Burrow. Lamar's one, Burrow's three. Derek Carr is quarterback in the team that's probably not a severe threat. Justin Herbert's in the AFC. Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts and Philly are emerging as, as as a huge challenge here, as as some expected them to be. And they, you know, they look like they were gonna have some problems earlier in this year, and they've really, they've really gotten things going. But um, as it stands right now, you know, the quarterbacks that they have beaten aren't aren't great in terms of quarterback rating. Although, you know, Kyler Murray's given people problems, and so does so does Stroud, in spite of his ranking. Um, Stroud's throwing too many picks this year, more, way more than he did last year. But, hey, challenges ahead. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. we got some big challenges coming. 